Today I'm here with my second tournament game for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Now my team has already once again won the week. I was supposed to play yesterday, but now we are playing a little bit earlier. Should be a lot of fun either way. Um, <laughs> HO for my opponent for sure. Golden Go will help me deal with the Spothra, I believe. Whether I can trick it or not, I think it's fine. Um, obviously they have Hyper Offense screens plus setup, but I mean I have options. For basically everything. I just have to try not to get swept by both Annihilate and Spothra. I do think that Dragonite is a little bit easier for me to deal with. We're going to lead off with Iron Threads. Uh, Treads, excuse me. I think it's just super, super, super strong into them. And very, very, very easy to just keep off hazards. Yeah, just very, very, very strong into them. Uh, so they should go out into their Ghost type here. So I'm just going to Earthquake again. I mean, Iron Treads is really good. If I Rapid Spin, they basically lose their hazards, so I don't expect them to want to stay in. It doesn't make a lot of sense. I, I basically, like I said, I get rid of the Stealth Rock and the Toxic Spec for free, so I'd always go Annihilate here. I'm going to do a lot with base three, uh, with this, this 323 attack. I'll do a lot. But yeah, if y'all enjoyed the tournament content, make sure you let me know, leave a like, and also subscribe to the channel if you are new, as I'm on my way to that 400k. All right, so we'll go for this Earthquake here. As they go Nihilip, exactly. I believe if I Terrasilize, I just straight up kill Nihilip, so I think I'm gonna do that. Perfect, so we've made it that I don't get swept by one of their Pokemon, which is very, very good. And Espothra is the other one that I need to beat down. So we're looking all right here. We're definitely looking all right here, especially because I get a free Rapid Spin versus everything. Gonna get up Stealth Rock first. Because I want to make sure Glamora dies. And then we're gonna go for the Rapid Spin. And what I'll do is I'll go with a Golden Go as it deals with these guys. They can't Parting Shot, exactly. And what they'll do is they're more than likely to sack their Cyclozar. So, or they'll sack their Glamora and then go Cyclozar. So. I'll make the Champ Pal play. If they Spirit Break, that's a good play too. But I do think these things run Taunt last. So they should, exactly, Sack Lamora and then go Cyclozar. So we managed to prevent the Grimmsnarl from doing anything crazy. I'm playing TDR, but <laughs> this is a 3D team, by the way. He used it versus me in a Wi-Fi battle, uh, which is pretty cool. I believe that Champ Pal can knock out Cyclozar through... Reflect, but more importantly, it can stop it from setting up. So that's very important for me. Like, that's really, 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 really important to me. Stop that mom from just straight up sleeping. Iron, Iron, Iron Treads went crazy here, though. Basically got, I mean, it got Stealth Rock up for me, and it, more importantly, stopped the T-Spike from annoying my team, and also got rid of Annihilate. So it wasn't the biggest threat to my team that it could have been. It's still not over yet, though. Threats. So many threats. <laughs> so many threats. So, so many threats. Versus a Spothra, I believe I just go hard Golden Go and literally trick. I think. I don't know if that's uh, even a win. I might just lose to it anyway. Hmm. I wish I could calc my ability, but I don't believe my ability is... I'm gonna go golden go here. They combine into a fairy. Okay, so they already trash into a fairy, which is perfect. So we'll trick immediately. Do I have nasty blood on this one? I do not. I'm gonna trick immediately. If they go Cyclozar or not, I'll try and take back its item as well. Uh, I just gotta be careful, like I said, not to lose this Pokemon. Do I trick here or do I make it rain first? I think I trick. So they have Dazzling Gleam as their move. It's a screen that's stopping me because I make it rain, it'll do so much anyway. I'm a trick. You don't know if I'm uh, Specs as well. Maybe they'll go Cyclozar though. Cyclozar could come out. But the thing is, if I attack into Cyclozar, and then um, 
they'll end up getting this thing in anyway, so I'm gonna trick regardless. Hmm. If they go Cyclozar and Shedtail, though, that's a problem. I'm tricking. Alright, so I got the boots. They're gonna shed tail here. Light screen. Combined up alongside them. That won't help me. Shadow ball, shadow ball. I think I go you and I just spam my ground attacks. I feel like that's the play. And then I just weaken Espatha to the point of where. Because they only have they only have one turn of reflect up and two turns of light screen. So I can break their sub and do a lot to them. Maybe I'm wrong about this. I could be straight up wrong. I also could just lose the Dragonite immediately. Okay, they went Dragonite first though. Gonna wrap it's gonna make sure I'm faster, and then Iron Head should be able to break the sub after. I'm physically defensive Rotom. So I should be okay as well. Like they, as long as they cannot beat me with the spot throw, I think I'm good. I believe I'm good as long as they can't beat me with a spot throw. So iron it here. And because they cannot, oh, that is not good. That is not good. Did not break. It did not break. Okay. It's not the end of the world yet, though. It's definitely not, because they don't kill me yet. At all, and at least I spin to make myself faster than them. If they have Dragonclaw, I probably lose this. This is a really hard situation for me to get out of, though, I'll be honest. But Rotom lives. Rotom Wash. They can't... They can't Terrastalize yet, right? So, like, as long as they're the Earthquake Ice Spinner set that everybody runs... Screen speed. Yeah, Rotom lives plus 6 E speed. So just like to give you guys an, a scenario. Like, I, I'm in an okay situation. And this guy will live a hit too. But I need to get to that plus 6 E speed range before I potentially lose. Okay. So. Can't bring out Rotom yet. Gonna hire her. They do Ice Spinner. Okay, good, 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 good. So we'll go you. We click Willow. E speed, I easily live. I don't live Dragon Claw, but I live E speed easily. And that's plus three E speed, which means that the most they'll do to me is 50 to 59. Perfect. So it's it's definitely possible. It's for sure possible here. We wrote them, we will OS, we boot our booster energy, we attack into them. Did I already tear it? I did. I tear it iron, so I don't lose to Annihilate. So we Willow, we land. If they're Dragon Dance Ice Spinner, then they're E Speed Earthquake, so they don't have Roost. Which I believe means my homie just gets the kill. But how do I beat Espathra through Light Screen? Ah, I wish I, I got rid of uh, the Focus Blast and I went Nasty Plot, man. So I easily eat this up, easily. I miss the Will-O-Wisp. Let's see if we land the second one. Might have just lost because of that miss. We'll see though. Come on, come on, come on. And I missed twice in a row. So uh, yeah, uh, I think I had a really good shot at winning this game and now I don't. Okay, so I needed to Willow. Iron Valiant lived the hit after I get a Willow off. I Volt Switch out to it and I knock him out with Moonblast. Now I have to E Speed to break them and pray that Iron Valiant lives a plus three attack. But I'm also down my Dragonite, which could Dragonite up alongside, and I go from there. So uh, definitely uh, pretty whack. Okay, so it lived, but it's still it's still bad. Like it's still bad. Hmm. 
Double Moonblast into hard GM pal, I want to say. It's still pretty bad, again. Because I'm super, super, super weak. Commenting up in front of Grimmsnarl doesn't make a difference for me, I think. I guess they could bring out Cyclozar and go for Rabbit Spin for no reason. Which would be so bad. It's such a bad play. Yeah, you go Grim. Light Screen goes up first. Moonblast. We go Chien Pal. That way they can't do anything to me. Start Ice Spinnering. Can't do anything to me. I wish I was SD. I believe I Ice Splinter. I don't know what this is going to do to me because I'll be able to break its sub always, so it doesn't matter. They can shut to all they want. I'll definitely, I'll definitely be breaking a spot or sub. I feel like I do too much damage to it, but I could be wrong. Let's see. But I also need to make sure I don't lose to... Ah, just the justice crit immediately. Damn, good game. So I have no idea how much I did to that thing, but basically I lived neutral hit, and then the plan was to go uh, golden go and just click make it rain through the hit. But the justice immediate crit is crazy, bro. Absolutely crazy. Whole game won the battle, and you are disconnected and cannot chat. <laughs> I, I won the battle, but I got. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I was I was <laughs> put down in the process. But okay, so they don't calc uh, if I'm not mistaken, Chen Pao, Espathra. This is this is not counting my ability. So there's a tw it does 25% more. Right? So this is neutral. And it does it does about 25% more, correct? Because you have less special defense. So how do I, how do I count? Let me second, let me check, let me figure out how to count this. Okay, so, this is how it works. So I gave it, uh, it's, I went, I put 25% of its health, or of its uh, defense, I could be wrong about this, but I believe that I'll leave it at 117 defense. So I do 94 to 111, that's without light screen and reflect, obviously. So I do about half of that. And at plus one, it kills me, so it would have to attack me after. However, light screen would be gone, and Golden Ghost still does 101 to 120 before stored power kills me. Uh, those There's obviously the option that they could go for, um, what's it called? Combine again. So I think if they played it right, they won from that scenario. And it would be easier for me had I had more Pokemon. But you know what? We absolutely take the, we won the game anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But still, jump out's crazy. Um, Iron Treads, Threads, Treads, sorry, right, is nice. I love this mod, man. The Oko on Annihilate was great. Dual screen stuff with a spot though, kind of crazy, kind of crazy. If I was the uh, fun game, thank you for being flexible. Hey, oh, for sure. Thank you for still playing. It's good for content. Oh, they left. Uh, but yeah, uh, I think I think the end game got shaky there. I do think they actually had a decent shot at winning it after that. Ah. If I would change the back, because like basically, had I been still the nasty plot variant of Golden Gold, then I still I smashed through it. But yeah, this does this does an insane amount of damage because it's super effective. This is uh, this said fairy, right? Normal, yeah, 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 yeah. a fairy. No, what am I saying? No, 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 no. I won. I won. Uh, I won. You want to know why I won? Because yeah, I literally won. Uh, they couldn't. So Ice Spinner does half, right? It does half to Espathra, as we saw. We know we know it does half because it wouldn't kill on a physically defensive. Let's just make it physically defensive. It wouldn't kill Champ out. It wouldn't kill with a crit on a physically defensive set. So we know they're like the max HP, max speed. They, they have no more than that. If it killed on a crit, it did that much. Um, so Reflect, I, I just basically keep clicking Ice Spinner, right? I do my 55 to 65 or whatever it is. Um, I do my half. They cannot roost and combine at the same time, and they have to kill me because Reflect is going to be wearing out. They can't get two combines, basically. So I attack into them twice, and I could be I could be wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I attack into them twice. They knock me out next turn, and they cannot combine plus roost at the same turn. So as long, even if they go to full, 
If they combine up at 50% or 60%, they still die to make it rain. So basically, I just keep spamming Ice Spinner with my Chien Pal. Because I'm choice banned. The second they kill me, I go out to Golden Go, I click make it rain, and I win the game. That should be it. Because they never get a second combine. They literally never get a second combine versus this Pokemon. You can't. I'm doing about half to you, and I had Stealth Rock up. And it's not like you were at full to begin with, right? So, as you can see right there, they were at 88. Yeah, so I'm doing literally half to them. I'm doing... Um, sorry, that's the wrong set. That's also wrong. They're um, jolly. So I'm doing this with Reflect Up. Yeah, I'm doing 47 to 55. They were at 88, so they're t they, they don't recover enough, right? So uh, this is assuming they're Roost and not Protect, which I'm pretty sure they are Roost. Um, actually, I'm not even sure. Like, Are you sub on it? Because you would have to, why would you not go for Protect first just to get the Speed Boost and the extra leftovers? So from this position, I just double Ice Spinner. Yeah, I go for it once. Then I make it rain. Because they would combine up that turn. I guess they'd still be one more turn to reflect, too, that I have to take into account. So then that last turn that they would actually... They would combine up that turn. And then that turn after that they kill would come down to do I sack my Iron Valiant uh, on it. And then bring out Golden Go. And then click Make It Rain. Because that way the last turn to reflect was... Uh, light Screen was gone. Excuse me. Because they, they have to roost in front of Chien Pao. But they can't roost and kill... They can't roost, they can't kill me, and they can't get to full and have a calm mind up at the same time versus gold. I might be wrong about this. Doesn't matter. I won the game anyway, so I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.